you're here today at the Skills Show in Birmingham. Uh, why is it important to have a, an event like this and what have you been doing as you've been walking around? It's an absolutely brilliant thing. I mean, I was here for a day uh, last year and I was very keen to come back this year because, you know, the Skills Show is all about elevating the status of vocational qualifications of apprenticeships uh, and making sure that youngsters know that they've got you know great choices available to them if they want to take that particular route if they want to become an apprentice if they want to pursue vocational qualifications because as a country for far too long we've been suffering for, for, for ages for this, you know, this barely concealed snobbery that somehow an academic qualification, having your nose stuck in a, in a book in a university library for three or four years is of greater value to society than than you know, getting your hands dirty, literally, literally or metaphorically, learning, you know, and earning, learning by doing. We should put these two things on the same pedestal. You know, we should be giving the same respect to vocational qualifications as we always have done to academic qualifications, and that's what the Skills Show is all about. Fantastic. And one final question: um, you could probably get this a lot, but you've been around young people a lot, and a lot of them are very supportive of what you want in education in terms of skills. But one of the things a lot of young people want with the skills is to be able to go to university. How does that fit in with the fact that a lot of people do bring this up that you scrapped or the, the promise to not scrap the pledge? Well, you, you had a pledge not to scrap tuition fees and... Don't worry, I know the story, yeah, I know the background, you, you know I'm familiar with this. Going. Um, <laughs> how does that fit in with the idea that they need skills, they want to get these skills, they might like these yeah. make them want to get university, and then there might be that possibility that because you've scrapped uh, tuition fees they won't be able to? Because they haven't scrapped anyway, really, I know well, what yeah, you mean. You know, um, uh, well, the, the great news is that despite all the predictions that, uh, you know, the changes in how universities are financed, uh, despite all the predictions from the Labour Party and others that somehow that would discourage people from going to university, would make it too expensive for people to go to university, guess what's happened? We've now got more young people on full-time courses in university than ever. We've got a higher ratio of, a higher proportion of youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds in university than ever. We've got a higher proportion of kids from black minority ethnic backgrounds at university than ever. And the reason for that is if you scratch below the surface of all the kind of, all the kind of argy-bargy and argument, actually it is in many ways more affordable to go to university than in the past. I'll give you an example. If you graduate from university now and you earn, let's say, £24,000 right, as a starting salary, that's sort of the average income in this country, under Labour's tuition fee system, which we inherited, if you were a part-time student, you had to pay up front as a student, we've scrapped that, you don't have to pay anything as a student, but crucially, on 24,000 quid under Labour system, you were paying about £67 a month. Under the new system, you're paying £22 a month. You might be paying longer, but you're actually paying much less every week and every month out of your bank account. And I, and I think that's very, very important for people to remember. Forget the politics, forget the personalities, forget what people think about individuals. The fact is there are now more people, young people, in full-time courses at university than ever before, because actually the system it allows anyone who wants to go to university to do so. And at the same time, even better news, we're now days away from being able to announce that and confirm that, that we've created two million new apprenticeships during the course of this parliament. That's about double the rate of apprenticeships which were being created under Labour. So, you know, I've had my critics and I always take it on the chin, but I think it's also fair for me to say, now let's look at the facts. And the facts are more people are going to university than ever before and more apprenticeships are being created than ever before. And of that, I'm very proud. Fantastic. That's the two questions. All right. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.